Hello friends, I am Sudhir and you are enjoying the YouTube channel English Carnival A Journey of Learning with Joy. Friends, this channel is dedicated to English language, literature, criticism, academics, motivation and many more. Friends, today we are going to explore some multiple choice questions based on T.S. Eliot's renowned composition called Preludes. But friends, before we proceed, I request you to subscribe the channel by just pressing the subscribe button and hitting the bell icon so that you may get the notifications of uploaded such videos on this particular channel in coming days. So friends, today we are going to explore around 20 multiple choice questions based on Iliad's popular contribution, popular literary contribution called Preludes. So friends, Preludes is the comprehensive collection of four poems written by T.S. Eliot and it is one of his most significant literary contributions. Friends, it had been uh, composed between 1908 to 1912 when he was just in his early 20s. Friends, Preludes is about treasury, west and isolation of modern urban life. This poem is set in the unnamed city which is quite grimy and dirty and people perform unthinkingly their daily jobs or daily routines. So friends, without wasting much time, let's begin and explore some multiple choice questions. Let's begin with the first one. The first question we have, which of these is not a technique of magist poetry? The options are A. Free verse. B. Economy, C. Florid description and D. Focusing on a single image. The correct answer is C. That is florid description. Question number two we have. Sordid means dash or sordid means what? The options are A. Desperate and sorry. B. Depressed and sad. C. Sly and sinister and D. Dirty and immoral. The correct answer of this question is D. That is dirty and immoral. Question number three we have. The world's revolve like ancient women is a dash. The options are A. Synecdoche, B. Hyperbole, C. Simile, and D. Metaphor. The correct answer of this third question is C. That is simile. Question number four we have. The repeated B's in beat, broken, and blind is an example of dash. The options are A. Assonance, B. Antithesis. C. Alteration and D. Anapora. The correct answer of this fourth question is C. That is alteration. Question number five we have. Which of the following is alluded to in preludes? The options are A. The Westland. B. The Opera House. C. The Last Supper. And D. The Crucifixion. The correct answer of this question is D. That is the Crucifixion. Question number six we have, T.S. Eliot was influenced by writers from which country in writing this piece of composition, that is preludes. Options are A, that is Italy, B, Greece, C, Germany, and D, France. The correct answer of this sixth question is D, that is France. Question number seven we have, Sparrow symbolizes what in this poem? A, options are A, hope. B. Discouragement. C. Debasement. And D. Swarrow. The correct answer of this question is C. That is debasement. Question number 8 we have. Which time of day is not included in the poem? The options are A. Afternoon. B. Evening. C. Midday. And D. That is dawn. The correct answer of this 8th question. That is C. Midday. Question number 9 we have. Preludes had been composed when T.S. Eliot was in Dash. The options are A. Cambridge and Paris. B. Marburg and Vienna. C. New York and Bombay. And D. St. Louis and London. The correct answer of this question is A. That is Cambridge and Paris. Question number 10. We have the overall tone of the poem is Dash. The options are a. Ecstatic B. Melancholic C. Suspicious and D. Whimsical the Correct answer of this question is B. That is melancholic. Question number 11 we have. Newspapers in the poem represent what? 
options a knowledge b west c connection and d trees the correct answer of this question is b that is west question number 12 we have the first four lines of the poem written in dash the options are a iambic pentameter c sorry b sustain c free verse and d iambic tetrameter the correct answer of this question is d that is iambic tetrameter question number 13 we have who started the imagist movement the options are a isra pound b pablo picasso c t s eliot and d oscar wilde the correct answer of this question is a that is isra pound question number 14 we have when was t s eliot born a 1888 b 1889 c 1890 and d 1891 the correct answer of this question is a that is 1888 question number 15 we have when was the poem preludes published in which year this poem was published the options are a 1915 b 1916 c 1917 and d 1918 the correct answer is c that is 1917 question number 16 we have what abbreviation does t s eliot stand for options are a tom stanley b thomas steve c thomas stens and d thompson still the correct answer of this question number 16 is c that is thomas stens question number 17 we have to which age does t s eliot belong the options are a romantic age b modern age c classical age and d victorian age the correct answer of this question is b that is the modern age question number 18 we have t s eliot got nobel prize in which year the options are a 1950 b 1948 c 1957 and d 1965 correct answer of this question is b 1948 question number 19 we have T S Eliot was awarded the U S Presidential Medal of Freedom in dash. It means in which year T S Eliot was awarded the U S Presidential Medal of Freedom? The options are A, 1964; B, 1965; C, 1966; and D, 1967. Correct answer is A. That is 1964. Question number 20. We have. which adjective is not used in this poem called preludes the options are a that is dingy b that is dirty c that is grimy and d that is smoky the correct answer of this question is b that is dirty so friends it was all about the multiple choice questions based on t s eliot's renowned literary contribution that is preludes friends if you have liked this video then i request you to like it and share it among your friends near and dear ones as well if you are a new viewer and still you have not subscribed the channel yet then i request you to subscribe the channel by just pressing the subscribe button and hitting the bell icon so that you may get the notifications of uploaded such uh, literary videos on this particular channel called english carnival in coming days so friends this was all about for the mcqs based on ts eliot's preludes uh, i ensure you that very soon we'll meet again and again multiple choice questions based on another literary piece till then friends just take care of yourself and be happy Thank you very much.